Welcome to the Automation Technologies RS Logics 500 training series. This is Russell White, and I'll be leading you through some short examples on programming in this platform. Hi, welcome back to the RS Logics uh, training series from Automation Technologies. I want to talk at this time about scaling. Uh, I'd like to start with the SCP or scale with parameters instructions, which is which is really the easiest way to scale in the RS Logics 500. I want to move on to uh, give you a little background on scaling and some of the math that's involved, and then we can talk about ways that uh, you can scale without using that instruction. That would be uh, things that would be uh, useful in other platforms as well. I'm going to take a little bit of a different approach with this uh, tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and, and create the uh, program from scratch here um, as we uh, as we go through this tutorial. And hopefully you get uh, some other things and maybe get a little tidbits that you might be able to use with your other programming uh, applications. I'm going to go ahead and start. The scale with parameters instruction is very easy to add. Um, in fact, I like to just type it in, so I'm going to say uh, insert a rung and then just type in SCP and there is my scale of parameters. I really, uh, for most cases, don't need to have any logic uh, ahead of it to enable it. I mean, generally it's something that you want running all the time and so I'm not going to put any kind of bits to activate this or or, uh, or you know interrupt it. So that's pretty much uh, complete as far as, as that part. Now we need to fill out some some items here. So one of the things I'm going to need is I'm going to need where my input is coming from. So I've gone ahead and added a, a uh, eight point card that will uh, deposit its information into the input table. So you see zero through seven, uh, it's in binary mode, so you're seeing all 16 bits. Uh, zero through seven channels that are coming in from this uh, particular input card and uh, I'm going to just drop my final calculated um, information into this N7 colon 0. In fact, it's got data in it. It looks like it's left over from another tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and zero that out. And that's where we're going to put the information. You see I've creatively made it my output. Um, you notice I've got a description and a symbol. We at Automation Technologies try to make sure that uh, all our data has not only a description but a symbol. Symbols really help you uh, to add information and get around in the program a little better. So, and you'll see that right here when we add our first input. So I said I was going to add the input from this I1. So all I need to do though, since I have already set this up and given it a description uh, symbol of my input, now I didn't put my input as a description, so I'll go ahead and fill that in. And now, when I come over here, I happen to know that my, whoops, need to click over here, my input is what I'm looking for. This is where the symbols really help us out. So now I can just click on that, and that's it. It is already determined that that's I colon 1.0. You know, that some of these cryptic addresses are very difficult to uh, under, to remember, uh, whereas something like my input is a lot easier to remember. So we're set. We know where our information is coming from. Now we need to know um, where what is going on with this data. Um, what is it going to be ranging from? And I think just for example purposes, we're going to go ahead and try to pick something that's going to be simple to look at. So let's just say, for example, that we're going to scale. We know that our information is going to come in. Our lowest possible value is going to be a zero, and our highest possible value is going to be 100. All right, that's very unusual if you had something like that, but there's a, it's kind of simple for us to talk about. You can put an address there if you want to type an address in there and, and put your information into different addresses, so you could uh, do it that way. Um, now our scaled, we've gone ahead and put our input min and input max, so it's scaled from 0 to 100. Now we need our scaled min and scaled max. So let's um, Let's, for for example purposes, once again, try to come up with something that'll be easiest, easy for us to um, 
to convert to and look at. So let's just maybe uh, go from uh, 0 also once again to 1000. So in essence, we've we've kind of we're kind of kind of multiply everything times 10. Um, so if we have a 50 here, we should see 500 here. We've we've really doubled our range. Um, if we see 100 here, we obviously should see 1,000 here. So let's go ahead and and put our output. Find a place for this to go. Remember we had a integer set up here for this. So I could type in n7 colon 0 since that I can remember that or I can come in here and type in my output you see it already it already stuck it up here you can type in my output hit enter and see it automatically finds that n7 colon 0 once again those symbols come in very handy much easier to remember words than it is to remember these some of these numbers so here and and also the output is the description up here that is a uh, that is shown whenever you get done with your instruction. So we have our completed instruction. We've got our input coming from our card. It's going to give us a 0 to 100 signal. We're going to scale that from 0 to 1000 and we're going to plop that information into N7 colon 0. So I'm going to go ahead and test this uh, change, make sure everything looks great. All right, it accepted it. Everything came in good. So now I'm going to take this. Let's go ahead and take this and download it to our processor. So I'm downloading it to our processor. I usually do like to put a revision note. So um, I'll just say I'm going to download. And then I like to put my initials after it. To later on, people will know who made this change. And then it says it's done. Do I want to go online? Here I am. And note that I am online at the time that's what that is showing me and uh, now I don't see the green bars on either side so I'm not running and I can come up here and see we're in, in remote program so I can go ahead and switch over to run yes I want to change it to run and now you see my green lines I am I'm actually active here now one of the nice things about this I don't, I don't have to go into my data table I can actually just go right here and I can enter data in and I can see the data that's that's going to come out so right here I can go ahead and maybe put a, um, a 50 in here for my value and see it calculates automatically and we, as we said it's 0 to 50 here on the input is going to get scaled up by 10 to 500 very simple command easy to work with I can put a 100 in here and then I get the, my max and I can also look at this information here open up here now this is a binary representation change it over to decimal and there I see the 100 it tells me what kind of card I'm using it um, I'm at the very first channel I can also look at my integer file here and I see my 1000 here shows me that that's my output and so that's the first step. That is really the scale with parameters and how easy it is to set up and, and get moving.